Black Friday is known as a day for big savings on bucks and your holiday shopping, but there's another shopping experience that will make you feel like a blast from the past. That's right. Well, it's Record Store Day Black Friday, and it's something that you can take advantage of right here in our very own backyard. You can buy vinyl record records that you can only find at local indie record stores. I checked one of these places out. It's good to see. It's good to see people excited about something that they're passionate about, we're passionate about, you know. Um, for a long time, it was, um, we sat around and we were like, do people really even like music anymore? It's, um, but no, Record Store Day and, and the hype around it and the vinyl revival has really helped people um, get back into listening to music, sitting down and listening and paying attention and enjoying it. And if you're part of the Vinyl Revival, they always have a steady stream of new records to add to your collection. Try to keep things fresh around here. So even if you were to come back like some customers twice a week, you would see something new. Aaron has been working at Street Corner Music for 25 years and has seen how enjoying music has come full circle. So there were always record collectors, but for the most people, they were just thought of those things in your parents' closet or your parents' basement. Um, and they were just sort of passed around. And um, 10 years ago, we started seeing it creep up, maybe a little more than that. And, and young kids coming in and buying stacks of dollar records. And it's just been building and building. But in the sort of post, uh, CD burning, everything's on the internet. There was a real desire for authenticity and a real desire to uh, support artists. And records are great for that. Among these rows and rows of records, you can even take a trip through music history. And it's so crazy because you have multiple generations sure. represented in these records right here, but people can still come here and oh, get yeah. them and they're looking for it, which is cool. Do you feel like you're also kind of like a gathering place for people that when they want to kind of talk about music and get in the weeds and in the trenches about stuff, that they could come here and do that? Sure. This is, it, I mean, a record store has a little bit of the barber shop community yeah. center feel. Mm -hmm. um, you know, music is healing, music is social. Some people come to look through some records and forget about their problems. Yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. I can definitely see that. So whether it's healing through music or looking for that old school vibe, you might just find it at a record store. You know, for a long time, music was just sort of free and everywhere. Um, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but people, it just became background noise. Records require your attention. They require uh, involvement and, you know, um, they're rewarding that way. You sit down and listen to a record. Joining mm -hmm. us now in studio is Aaron Anderson, the manager of Street Corner Record Store. Thank you for so much for being hey, with us. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. <laughs> right I'm doing on, great. Right. So let's start with Black Friday at the record store. Sure. This is a really big deal because people can get releases that are exclusive to indie record stores, right? Yep. Record Store Day Black Friday started about 2010. It's been growing ever since. Um, this year there's about 150 exclusive releases that you can only get at independent record store days or stores they're limited um yeah there's a lot of hype and a lot of uh excited people on that day it definitely is all right so give us some pro tips what's the best strategy for record store black friday right <laughs> did you gotta hunker down should you arrive early bring snacks like what's the best way to go to go about this well the the, the one downside of record store day black friday is it's in november yeah mm. so um but first of all, have fun, stay warm, get there early, um, bring coffee or some sort of hot drink, mm -hmm. and uh, plan to stop down. at several stores. Should you, you should you come in with an idea of what you want, or should you come in like? I think so. If it's if there's a release you really want, yeah. 
then get there early. Okay. And if you don't get it, try another store. That's the fun. Mm -hmm. All right, so we see what you brought in, and I've been just Googling over it because <laughs> I, I, I kind of grew up in this space with my mom having records. Sure. But it was something we could never touch. Yep. Yeah. So um, l let us know about what you brought here. Well, these are some Detroit classics, collectibles, records. Uh, we had Street Corner Music feel real attached to. Um, that's really cool. I mean, we were also commenting about the album cover art. Sure. Like, you just don't see this anymore. It's so creative, so intricate. Every little thing meant something, mm -hmm. which is uh, which is really cool. But talk to us about some of these releases that are going to be at your store on Black Friday, Record Store Black Friday. Sure, sure. Um, we brought in a few that we think are unique. Did you need a, a private escort when you brought that I case know, right? in there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I managed like it all by service. myself. Yeah. <laughs> um, the first one is uh, Scarlett Johansson. Whoa. Singing the songs of Tom Waits. It's got David Bowie on a couple tracks. Okay. It's limited. First, it came out on CD back in the two, early 2000s. First time on LP. You and get there early. Want, and people want music that they previously owned on vinyl. Mm. Right? Sure. Yeah. Sure. So what else you got? Next is Janis Joplin live at the Grandy Ballroom in Detroit, 1968. The Grandy Ballroom was sort of the psychedelic counterculture center of Detroit. This is the first time this concert's been available. A lot of people looking for this. Oh, They're gonna be looking for you. Yeah, yeah. you leave. If you didn't come in with the escort, you leave him with an escort today. Know, right? Get right in your car right. and go right back to the store. Yeah, right. Seriously. There's a brand new pressing of Gil Scott Heron from South uh, South uh, Africa to South Carolina with Johannesburg on it. Wow, it's got some amazing. live bonus tracks. It's a, a record that is as relevant today as it was then. That's really cool. And for all the jazz fans, there's Max Roach, Deeds Ooh. Not Words, Ooh. mastered by Kevin Gray, Mono. This is going to sing on your stereo. I love mm. that. Well, give us the details of Record Store Black Friday sure. and your address and all that good stuff so people can definitely make sure to come and take advantage of this opportunity. Sure. Uh, we open up at 10 a.m. There'll be a line, so get there early. Okay. And we are at 26020 Greenfield Road, right next to BookBeat. Yeah, you guys, bring them one of those little lawn chairs, you know, from the summer. It's and probably a blanket. And a blanket. <laughs> and get comfortable. Now, before I let you go, <laughs> there's someone really special that you have a message for, so. I do. My, uh, my son turned five yesterday, and I'd like to say happy birthday, Coltrane. <laughs> oh. Love you, dude. That is happy special. Birthday, happy Coltrane. birthday, Coltrane. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. And thank you for letting me hang out at the store. We had a great time. That was we beautiful. did. We did. We really did. You're always welcome. Thank you, thank you. <laughs>